Listen, man, I get it. The bar's closed. The pub's closed. The club's closed. The gym's closed. You can't get your pump on. The restaurant's closed. You can't go visit grandma. And worst of all, we can't go watch the new James Bond movie. Okay, we're all doing it tough in the moment. Trust me. Now, if you are struggling right now with motivation and staying positive and getting that same uh, the same drive that you had before that's frankly just been missing for the last i don't know six to twelve months i want to let you know something first that hey it's uh, you and around about seven billion other people that are struggling with the same thing at the moment so you're not alone okay now having said that if you were coming here to expect sean ferris to tell you it's all gonna be okay it's all gonna be sunshines and rainbows and i'm gonna tuck you into bed and sing you a nursery rhyme and sing you to sleep and you can just wake up when it's all over. I hate to disappoint you, you're on the wrong YouTube channel, okay? Now, you didn't come to Sean Ferris for any of that bullshit, you came for some real shit. So, here's the deal. A lot of people have been asking me lately how I am handling the pandemic, this whole situation, we're all stuck inside, whatever it is, depending on what the situation is in your country. I like to imagine that I am Tony Stark in his cave. Let me ask you, have you seen Iron Man? If you haven't, um, what the fuck, pause this video right now, go watch Iron Man, it's way more entertaining than I am, and then come back once you're done, okay? If you've all seen Iron Man, number one, you remember the man, he's stuck in the cave, he's held hostage by these terrorists, and he knows that he has a matter of days to build this machine and get the fuck out of here, or I'm gonna die, okay? Now, I like to imagine that I am Iron Man, Mr. Tony Stark, in my cave. What the hell do I mean by this? What's Sean going on about now? The way I see things is, I don't know how long it's going to be before the world opens up again and everything returns to sunshine and rainbows and it becomes normal again. Maybe it's 6 months, maybe it's 12 months, maybe god forbid it's 18 months, maybe even longer. I don't know, no one knows. The point is, the way I see it, I can't control when this is going to end. The only thing I can control is what I am going to do about it day to day, what I'm going to do with my life in the interim, because as far as I know, we only get one life, okay? Maybe, unless you're Buddhist, maybe then you get like 30 lives. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'd love to be Buddhist. That sounds awesome. Um, but as far as I know, in my world, in my reality, we get one life. And every single day above ground is a great fucking day. And I'm going to make the most of it. Or I'm going to die trying, okay? So the way I see things is if I can accomplish three years of work, of progress in business, in music, in my health and fitness, in every single area of my life, in you know buying a house, all of it, in the next 12 months, I'll be, I'll be a pretty happy man, okay? I'll be happy as a clan. Meaning what I'm doing whilst the world is shut down, whatever the situation's like in your own country, we can't travel, we can't really go out and socialize properly. Rather than trying to have what I call like half fun, which is, I don't know, scrolling through Instagram, or kind of like going to like a, a bar or something where you're not allowed to dance or, you know, kind of everything is like closed and you got to sit down and kind of, you know, keep it down, kid. And, and, and you know, kind of half, half do things, right? Or play fucking Xbox. Or go, I love Xbox, actually. I'm, I'm not going to hate on Xbox, you know, or, you know, what most people are doing. I'm going to, I'm going to sit down. I'm fucking binge watch TikTok. Orange is the new gray. Whatever the fuck is popular these days on TV. I have absolutely no idea. Fuck that shit. Okay. That's what I call half fun. You're grey zoning, let's be real. You're not really having fun or being entertained and you're sure as hell not getting anything done either. I would much prefer knowing that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. This is going to end one day. It's not going to be like this forever, okay? Knowing that, knowing there is a light at the tunnel, knowing there is something to look forward to on the other side, I am going to use that to my advantage to literally go fucking ham while I'm here, while I can. Like, my intention... I'm gonna sneak up on goddamn everyone in the last in the in the next 12 months and they're gonna they're gonna take one look at me and gonna be like where the fuck did this guy come from he was way back there now he's up here okay and i want the same exact thing for you so knowing this is gonna end in six months 12 months whatever it is you damn well bet i have some plans at the end of this okay i am gonna party like my life depends on it when this thing ends in fact i'm planning little surprise uh, a super badass Mykonos trip with all of my six-figure students uh, in my CMB in a circle it's gonna be it's gonna be a hell of fun frankly uh, there's gonna be a little bit of teaching so it's like a business expense um, but really it's gonna be a goddamn celebration so if you're in my CMB crew you guys know what's up look forward to that when that happens it's gonna be fucking epic 
yacht parties, cocktails, the whole shebang. It's going to be a lot of fun. But knowing that's on my horizon, knowing it's coming up, it could be six months, it could be 12 months, I don't know when, I'm going to work like a savage in the meantime to see how much I can get done in that time, okay? So fuck having half fun, fuck doing this like, you know, social media scrolling or watching TV or whatever it is, you know, you know deep down, you're not really enjoying it. It's not really bringing you enjoyment and fulfillment. It's just procrastination. It's just wasting time. Okay, you may as well just work like a goddamn savage, achieve your goddamn dreams in the next 12 months, and then you're going to be, one, in the position um, to actually go out and enjoy. You're actually going to have the finances when this is over to go and travel the world. You can take three months off, six months off if you really want to. Like, actually imagine if at the end of this year, at the end of 2021, you were earning $10,000 a year as a freelancer. Imagine what that would actually look like for you in the real world in terms of whose bullshit you wouldn't have to put up with anymore, who you wouldn't have to see anymore, who you would get to see on a regular basis, what you could be doing with your time, your newfound money, energy, happiness, positivity, all that shit, if it actually became a reality. And I'm telling you, it is very, very possible. In fact, they did it with 26 freelancers last year alone in our CMB tribe, okay? So enough of that motivational shit. That was awesome. Let's get down to some practicalities here. So what are some tips that you can use and implement to actually maintain a positive mental state and that that drive, that hunger, that set of ambition that you might have had a year ago that's kind of worn off in the last few months. So three practical tips for you on how to stay positive, motivated during Corona times. Number one that I got for you, a bit out of the box, exercise. I cannot stress enough the importance of daily exercise in some way shape or form maybe gyms are closed where you are if all you can muster is a walk or a jog outside maybe you're not even allowed to leave your house maybe you live in fucking uzbekistan and the government's gonna fucking put a bullet to your head as if you leave the house i don't know right if all you can do is a 20 minute workout in your living room like a quick cardio like fucking squat jumps or something if that's all you can do do it I absolutely assure you, you've exercised before. You know how this goes. You know how you feel at the end of the workout. You feel victorious. You feel amazing. You have a rush of endorphins and dopamine and all these really positive chemicals, which are so, so good for you, your positive mental state, um, your physical health, short-term and long-term. So that's going to be tip number one. Uh, it's a really great way to break up the day as well, particularly if you're in monotony, you're stuck inside, you're not traveling anymore, you're not going anywhere, you kind of just stuck at home and you have like i'm 16 hours awake there's nothing to break up the day exercise is a great way to do that and you feel amazing afterwards as well okay tip number two is where you can sunlight 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 so so much of it right here as you can see um super super important for mental health and overall sense of well-being and i know right and before you hit me with um sean i live in wyoming or like the uk or like germany it's fucking cold as fuck outside okay it is one degree it is like snowing i'm not allowed to leave the house it's cold as fuck dislike unsub you don't know your target market you don't know what you're talking about sean i'm done don't talk to me ever again i totally understand that for half the world it is winter right now it's freezing you're probably stuck inside where you can, especially if you live in the UK. I know sunshine is rarer than unicorns in the UK at the best of times. Do what you can. That's all I'm going to say. Direct sunlight on your skin. Okay, preferably if you can have it, you know, rather than through a window on your actual skin. Whatever you can do to get it, highly recommend it. That is an absolutely critical factor of positive mental health. Aside from all the day-to-day, -day, the, the normal shit, eating healthily, eating clean, so on and so forth. Treat your body well, treat it with respect. Um, that's going to be that's going to be extremely crucial to maintaining a positive mental state in these crazy times. Third and final tip that I have for you is, wherever possible, get a bit of social contact here and there. Okay, you could be a goddamn as much of a savage you might be. Luca Menegetti level savage. Right, he's one of our students. He was a 16 year old kid. Um, he, actually, he went from zero. I couldn't make this up. He went from zero to ten thousand dollars a month in 25 days as a 16 year old high school student. He literally worked for 23 hours a day literally slept less than one hour a night for 25 days um to break out just to break ray's record of fastest zero to 10k a month not real healthy wouldn't recommend it but even if you're that level like luca level savage i assure you it's gonna pay dividends short term and long term get some social contact with friends family whatever it is even if it's through facetime if you can do it in person of course that's ideal it's just going to help you with your sanity, your mental health, all of that stuff. Okay, humans were designed to be social, we're social creatures. We grew up in 
tribes. Okay, back in our ancestral days, we would travel in tribes. Um, we're not built to be lone wolves. And so if that's the side of your life you're struggling with at the moment, highly recommend you do whatever you can, even if it's just FaceTime a buddy for 20 minutes, crack some jokes, have a laugh, you know, do what you can. Those are some tips that I have around how to maintain a positive mental state during this crazy corona time. In addition, again, just remember the big picture. We're not in this forever. I know what it might look like at the moment that we're just like deep into this is like never ending shithole of bat soup, okay? <laughs> but it will reach a point where it's vaccines or whatever the fuck, however this ends, I don't even know how we get out of this. It will happen, whether it's six months, 18 months. In the meantime, do what you can. Sunlight, exercise, social contact, and frankly, work your ass off like a savage. All right, I don't want to see you slacking in these times. I want you using this time while there's nothing really that fun to do. Get some shit done. Get ahead. Accompli literally just accomplish like your five-year goals this year. No reason you can't do it. Now, having said all that, that all sounds good in theory. Of course, I understand from your perspective. You're like, sounds good, man. Let's hit 10K. Where the fuck do I start? Um, I totally hear you. I've actually just finished putting together a 46-minute masterclass on how to sign your first three to five high paying clients as a freelance copywriter. Completely, 100% free, link is in the description. I know you'll get an absolute ton out of it. I spent forever making that training and I know you'll get a lot out of it. And I wanna see you coming out the other side of this as the badass that you were born to be. So if you're up for that challenge, let me know in the comments if that's gonna be you. Let me know as well, feel free to let me know some tips as well, uh, ways you're staying healthy, maintaining a positive mental state and staying motivated during these corona times. I'm sure everyone would benefit from what you have to say. So definitely hit that link below, check it out in the description. I know you'll get a ton out of it and I'll see your beautiful self very, very soon.